So where's the best place to mount your battery? It's unequivocally proven now that a battery lower on your bike lowers the center of gravity and makes it much more controllable and predictable. Okay, I'm gonna slow. Hi, I'm Joel Lycatcher and I'm with Get Back Trikes, an authorized dealer for TerraCycle Parts and Falco E-Motor Solutions. Electrify and elevate your ride. So where's the best place to mount your battery? Well, you gotta take into consideration your center of gravity so you balance well, especially at low speeds. On a conventional bike, it usually would go on the water bottle mounts. And that would be on this, on this model. On this bike, I got two sets, but obviously that wouldn't work there. I'd have to mount it upside down on these. But what about a recumbent bike or a trike? This is my Rand Stratus. I've had this since 2003 and it's my favorite bike. But you'll notice there are no places to mount a water bottle. They're on the back seat. So in this type of situation, you need to use a clap on mount. We're gonna be talking about it in a minute. But one thing consideration is the weight. I put this battery right here on the top tube and I'm not too happy about it because when my bike is fully loaded with the motor and the water bottles and all my tools, at slow speeds, I get a little wobbly. I think the center of gravity here is too high. So I'm gonna to try to lower it someplace down here. We'll get to that in a minute. So what's specific about this bike? Well, this has a Falco 750 watt motor back here, and this weighs in at 13 pounds. Now I know that's kind of heavy, but that includes all the electronics. So it's really not as bad in relative to uh, separate drive motor configurations. The batteries, we have two batteries here, an LI7 and an LI9. And these batteries are both 48 volt batteries weighing in at 7.7 .7 pounds. So this extra 7.7 .7 pounds here, I think is my problem. So let's talk about the mounts now. Let's start with this mount. I have this unlocked, take the battery off, and you'll see this is mounted directly to the tube with a clamp. And I put a little tape on there just to keep it from marring the paint. And this is called a direct attach mount from TerraCycle. And I'm gonna be removing this, and I wanna to try to mount it to this tube. Now, obviously that tube has a chain in the way, so on the opposite side, we're gonna be mounting this. This is another TerraCycle part. It's generally made for trikes. I have one of these on my cat trike, which has an extension, but I don't need the extra extension there. And this is gonna go on the opposite side, mounted to this bolt, and it will bring the battery down to about there. That's gonna be a lot lower. Now there is one other mount. This one is very unique. This is a twin tube mount. It's really made, by the way, I'm sorry, it's 92 degrees and 80% humidity here in Florida today. So anyway, this is a twin tube mount and this is made to go, you'll notice the little, little notch here. It's made to go here, but obviously, I can't put it there because I don't have enough room for the battery there. But if I were creative, I could take this and mount it upside down on the bottom here. But the downside of that, which I'm not happy about, is if I did that, I'm going to mount the battery upside down and water could collect in here. And I'm not ha happy with that idea too. But if you can imagine, if this battery were all the way down there, that's an even lower center of gravity. So I may try this as well. So what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be changing the batteries in every position here and taking it for a ride. And I'm gonna talk about how it feels as we go down the road. Stay tuned. So here we are and we're just going down the street at an even pace. I'm in assist level three. And on the straight, I'm doing about, how fast am I doing, 17 miles an hour? Look at my other screen here, no? I was right. I'm coming up at a stop sign. And to stop, I feel I have to lean forward because my balance goes out. Oh, here comes a car. Wait for him to go. Go ahead. No, no, you go. Go, no, please. All right. Here's where the th throttle comes in. To get going, I give it some throttle, using my feet for a little balance. And I'm doing this because my balance is a little off. So let's back in come up to speed 
Here I am at 14 miles an hour. Now I'm at 17 and a half miles an hour. The e-assist is really cool because I, normally I would be pedaling this fast to go about 12 miles an hour and here I am doing 17. Now I'm coming up on a bend, going around the curve, and that's where the test really is. How can I do it? I can't really lean in so much because I feel I'm too top heavy. You'll see in a moment, it's coming right up. Okay, again, the battery is on the highest tube, and oh, I'm gonna slow down, I'm doing too fast. And here I unclipped, and I'm using a little throttle to help me around the curves, because I just don't feel confident with this bike. You see, I got two full water bottles, a full uh, bag of tools, here's another turn. I gotta slow down and then throttle out to make the turn because I just can't do it at about, about 14 miles an hour. I'm just not comfortable doing that. Let me pedal this so you don't hear the freewheel. There's the assist kicking in. Here's another turn and I've gotta break down and give a little throttle because I gotta maintain speed or my balance will, <laughs> I'll fall over. So this is the problem that I'm having with this. So here's another turn. And I feel I'm slowing down. I'm going to unclip one foot, put it out because I'm just not comfortable with the speed. Here I am going around at 10 miles an hour, clipping back in and going forward. So I got to see how lowering the battery from the top tube here to a lower center of gravity will help that out. So. Let's go change the battery mount, and I'm gonna do that off camera, and we're gonna come back and ride the next lower position on the bike with the trike mount on this recumbent. Well, as you can see, I removed the mount, the direct mount that the battery was on, and moved the battery over here onto the trike mount, mounted onto the second tube down here, and I had to play with it quite a bit because my heel strike from the pedal was very close even hitting it. So it took about three times I had to reset this and the angle till I got it just about right so I had clearance for my heel as I pedaled. Let's go give it a try now and see if the lower center of gravity makes a significant difference. Let's go. So we have the, the battery mount in a much lower position now and we're on the straightaway. So let's just go up a ways and see how she is. Okay, we're stopping here. I'm gonna make a, a right-hand turn. I'm about 13, 12, 13 miles an hour. Oh, wow. That is way better. Way, way better. Okay, let's uh, pick it up a bit. Pick up the pace. We gotta get to the end of this street so we have some more turns and then we'll turn around the park a bit. If you probably noticed, I raised the, um, the camera up so you didn't see all my handlebars as you did when I had the battery mounted on the top tube. It's, it's a hot day here. It's 90 degrees and humid. Okay, I'm coming to a stop sign. Let's see how I can do. I'm doing about 10 miles an hour now. No cars, okay. And wow, that is so much better. I don't think I need to put the battery any lower. I'm not getting any heel strikes from the battery. I think this is a winner. I don't think I'm gonna have to need to uh, put the battery any lower and upside down. We're on our way to the park, and we're going to have a lot of turns, lefts and rights. So I am at 18 miles an hour right now. Okay, I am braking a little bit. And, oh yeah, that is much better. I don't feel as unstable as I was before. Okay, car's coming, i got to slow let him pass. Yeah, there he is, in the middle of my turn lane. Okay, so I can give throttle as I turn. Well, it's unequivocally proven now that a battery lower on your bike 
lowers the center of gravity and makes it much more controllable and predictable. Okay, I'm going to slow. I'm going to pedal into this turn. I couldn't do that before. Now I can pedal into the turns. I am happy. I got a bike that works much better. I don't think I need to make that battery any lower. This is working just fine. All right, let's go continue this ride. So I'm gonna send back that twin tube mount. It is a rare mount. Really, it's only made for the Rand Screamer, which is a tandem bike. Okay, let's bring the... Okay, we gotta take this off a of cruise. There we go, now I can go over 20 miles. Seems to cap it at 18, it's supposed to cap it at 20. We're doing 21 miles an hour now. And we're gonna do a right turn around the playground. And I'm gonna come a little wide here. And I don't like coming in this fast. Woo, I have to do a wide turn. I was doing that at 14 miles an hour. This is a long wheelbase bike. It does need a lot more room to make turns. So uh, I guess that's it. From Get Back Trikes, I'm Joel Lightcatcher. <laughs>